Hello my angels, welcome back to Vlogmas and actually welcome to the spare bedroom. I was going to film in my room but it is an utter bombsite. <laughs> it has been a busy fair few weeks and I'm actually rather ashamed of it. There are just sort of like piles to be filmed, piles that have been filmed, piles... <sighs> you get the point. Piles everywhere of clothes and stuff. So we are in a beautifully tidy bedroom and as you can see behind me there are some serious sparkles along with the most beautiful festive outfits. So you probably guessed from the rollers in my hair and the naked mole rat look and some very tired eyes we are going to be doing a full festive makeup look as well as the most beautiful festive sparkly outfits. Now I really really wanted to to do a Christmas outfit ideas for all of those gorgeous Christmas parties coming up, drinks parties, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve outfits and I wanted to ensure that there was something from everybody and something that would fit within everybody's price bracket as well as ensuring that we have something here that is going to be perfect for every dress code this Christmas. So let's get straight into this. So as you can see I'm looking really rather rough. <laughs> if truth be known I've got one of my gorgeous cozy cashmere sweater dresses on. The weather outside is so blustery. There are a few blue skies out there with um, a fair few clouds to match. <laughs> so I'm feeling all gorgeous warm and cozy and we're going to start off with the makeup first. So with any makeup look, whether it is spring, summer, autumn or winter, I started off with Magic Cream. I just love how this makes my makeup look. It's super glowy, it makes sure that my skin is hydrated and plump. And at this time of year, with it being so cold outside and then coming into very lucky to say, a warm, toasty house. You know, our skin goes from being freezing cold outside to being super warm on the inside. And that makes our skin super dry. So I do actually tend to use a lot more of this magic cream in the winter months. Make sure that it is within all of those nooks and crannies. And just like that, my skin has just gone <laughs> me. I look so awful. This is what Vlogmas is doing to me ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. But you know what? I love it. I absolutely adore switching this camera on and it just makes me smile. Absolutely makes me smile. So um, a massive thank you to you and massive thank you for watching. That is our moisturiser all done. So we are going to start off with foundation. Normally I'd always pop on the Hollywood Flawless Filter, but if we're going at Christmas glam, I'm actually gonna go with slightly more of a matte look, and I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation in color three cool. And if you haven't guessed already, that was Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just using my finger to distribute it across my face. Apologies if I'm looking this way. It's actually where my mirror is. We have the most beautiful dressing table in our spare bedroom. It is so beautiful. We actually have one of my grandmothers. I'll turn it around and I'll show you. Excuse the mess. We actually have my grandmother's little mirror here. All of the gorgeous mirrors and handheld brushes that are just so pretty and I actually love coming in here to do my makeup. My makeup seems to be just living in my makeup bags at the moment so it was so simple to literally just grab everything I needed <laughs> and come in here and film this and I actually think it's quite nice. It's something different and probably part of the house that you haven't seen yet and seems as you adore the house I thought it was quite nice to be able to film somewhere different. So I need a makeup brush. <laughs> she says she's brought everything, but Leonora, where is your makeup brush? There she is. And I'm just gonna take a couple of seconds and I'm literally just going to blend that into my face with a brush. If you are a sponge person, then by all means, go and get your beauty blender 
and sponge away. There are pros and cons for both. I actually think a sponge um, tends to look a little bit more natural and you don't get those brush strokes. However, you can end up using a lot more product because a lot of that foundation soaks into the sponge and I feel like we can get a good, a good finish. God, we're gonna have to sort out these eye bags. I am a tired, but I have faith because Estee Lauder has the most exceptional concealer of all time. Ha! Huh. We have faith. Come we face for dee 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 dee. Oh gosh, I love Christmas and the fact that it is literally just sparkling behind me. Ha! Huh. I wish I looked as sparkling as I feel, but we are going to get there. So, second step is concealer. We are going to hide these bad boy bags with Estee Lauder's Futurist Soft Touch Brightening Skin Concealer. We're going to brighten these bad boys. And actually, I think that this is one of the best concealers on the market. It has this incredible little applicator Hopefully that will focus and it just enables you to get into all the nooks and crannies and really really get into the center part of your eye. So I'm going to just do a little dot here, a little dot there and then work it upwards. We are lifting from a tiny bit here, a little bit in there and then actually a touch here and we're going to lift the face. Gosh I look absolutely ludicrous and then I actually use my finger and this is a trick that I learned from the Estee Lauder masterclass that we went to last month and oh, look at that it just warms the product up the warmth from your finger makes it melt into your skin and straight away look at that the difference between let's say here and here is amazing so I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time blending that in. And again, the warmth of your finger will make that, that look so natural. Trust the process. I know I look absolutely ridiculous, but we are going to have the most beautiful, flawless, festive makeup look in about, I would say this whole look takes me, I could get it done in less than 10 minutes, however, I'm enjoying chatting with you, so I would say that this would take me about 15 minutes if I really, really wanted to take my time and make it perfection. However, this makeup look can take less than 10. So I'm actually going to take my beauty blender and just softly dot it around my face, making sure that everything is blended to perfection. I am also gonna take a mirror slightly closer up because I have been <laughs> guilty of doing my makeup with you and only just looking at it on the screen. And then when I looked in the mirror, I looked somewhat like Amy Winehouse. And that is not the vibe we're going for today. We want big hair, <laughs> but soft and flawless makeup. Right, that is our base done. Now it is time to bronze ourselves up. And that would never happen without Charlotte Tilbury's contour wand. These are the best wands on the market. Trust me, I've tried just about every bronzer out there, including powders and other liquids. And I just love how easy it is to blend. So, we're going to make our funny face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Down the nose, we want a lovely, slim, contoured nose. Santa Claus, if there was one thing for Christmas you could give me, um, that would be a new nose. But I want to wave, I want him to wave his wand. I don't want to have to go through surgery and have to break my nose and have to go through all of the recovery. So Charlotte Tilbury is doing that for me. And we need the Hollywood Complexion brush from Charlotte Tilbury. It's this jewel-ended brush and it's fabulous for blending. So back to our funny face. Mm -hmm. And I use really, really soft tapping motions. And we work upwards. And don't worry if you get a little bit of bronzer down here. Just take your finger and just remove it. 
and just like that it is pretty much blended in I know it looks rather drastic here but wait until we start adding the powder bronzer and it will all look beautifully blended together so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this on a time lapse and I'm going to speedy Gonzales blend my contour and I'll be back in just a jiffy Just like that, we are contoured to perfection. Now, as I said just a moment ago, I know it looks rather drastic, but once we blend with a brush and the Film Start Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury, it will begin to look super natural. And I'm just going to make my face again. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to take that product where we blend it. Come underneath the jawline and you almost work in like a big three. Mm-hmm. So from the forehead down the temple, glide it underneath that cheekbone and then glide it underneath the jawline, trying to leave this clear and this clear here because that is where we're going to add our bronzer and our highlighter. Take a little bit more of a product. You can see I absolutely love this. <laughs> I use the bronzer side and sometimes the highlighter side. I have other favorite highlighters, I must add. So, mm -hmm work in my three into that hairline make sure all of those baby hairs are caught not too much bronzer in the hairline otherwise we start getting sort of orange chops we're not looking for orange chops we're looking for bronzed chops <laughs> and sometimes you can actually bring it down here and i always think it's like <laughs> creating like a skeleton face but it does make you look super, super sculpted and a little bit more chiseled. So that is the face contour done. I am going to take a little blending brush and this is actually just an eyeshadow brush. It is the Hourglass 4 brush. Now I'm going to dot that into the bronzer and I'm just going to take it down the nose slightly just to slightly further contour and I also take it into the eyebrow and I blend it down the nose so it really really looks as though it is your bone structure and um, not just painted on bronzer don't get me wrong if I am doing this in a rush I can sometimes end up with a stripy nose and uh, we're not going for Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer here now I'm going to actually I always use this bronzer as the base of my eyeshadow but today we're doing something different and we are doing something Christmassy. It's also super glamorous. Now, I think when it comes to Christmas, it's all about the eyes and we are going to be adding glitter, but an elegant and classy glitter. We're gonna quickly do the brows and get them out of the way. I have shown you this product before and I'm now just slightly obsessed with it. This is Estee Lauder's Brow Now Stay In Place Brow Gel and it is just a clear gel. It's got an enormous amount of product in it for such a tiny bottle. Little bit goes a long way and it literally glues your eyebrows in the position you want them to stay in. So you all know I do like that sort of like laminated, slightly bushy brow, but I'm just a little bit skeptical about actually getting them laminated. If you've had your eyebrows laminated before, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I also know that it's something that you can't like keep doing, otherwise you are literally like cooking your eyebrows. I'd much rather be able to like use a product that does it and not have anything, um, you know, damage the hairs that I have been so trying to grow. So we're going with something quite wolfy, and um, my eyebrows do probably need a good plucking, but um, we're not doing that today. So we are now going to focus on eyes, and I am going to use one of my favorite palettes, but actually I don't show it to you that often because it's not one of my everyday, every week looks. It is specifically very glam. So the two palettes, going to throw it at you. Whoopsie, whoopsie, grandma's mirror. All is fine. The two palettes that I love using for this time of year is Uptown Girl 
And if I show you those gorgeous colours, there's this really, really pretty champagne colour here, and then a gorgeous, almost a slight hint of pink, and it really, really makes your eyes pop. I absolutely love it. And then the iconic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and this is the Luxury Palette of Pops, and it literally is the most glittering eyeshadow palette. And so really, I use a combination of both, and it is so simple because all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my finger I'm going to rub it into this pinky shade down here, which is what they call pop. How perfect. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take that all over my eyelid. And it just creates the prettiest base. It's quite pearlescent and it's just super brightening. And I take that all the way up to my eyebrow. And I'm now going to do that on my other eyelid. And that there is literally the base of my Christmas eye makeup done. I like to keep it quite simple, but powerful, if that makes sense. You want to be super elegant, you want to be flawless, you don't want to look as though you're caked in makeup, but it wants to look beautifully and almost professionally done. And that is the vibe I'm going for. And then going to find myself a makeup brush. And this is the Spectrum number 11. And that is Katie Jane Hughes's makeup brushes. They are incredible. And actually, that is something to add to your wish list this year. If you are in need of makeup brushes, I could not recommend the Spectrum collaboration with Katie Jane Hughes. They are the most beautiful brushes. They are so well made and in this gorgeous, like almost like army hunter green. I love them. So I'm going to take that brush 11, pop it into the champagne eyeshadow tap away and I'm going to just put that on top of that gorgeous pearlescent eyeshadow that we just did and I just feel like that has instantly brightened my eyes you know we're all having late nights we're all going to drinks parties Christmas festive fairs in the evening switching on those Christmas lights and we're all looking probably a touch tired at this point <laughs> So I am definitely using makeup that is lighting and brighting and I'm now going to move over to the pillow talk luxury pop palette gorgeous and then I'm going to literally just pop it into between these colors here so I'm going to add that and I'm going to just take that into the crease of my eyelid and then touch of that copper add that in as well and it starts to just build the most beautiful pinky coppery tone we're going to keep it really, really simple here, just slightly warm up the outer edge. And then we're going to add a beautiful eyeliner. And then we're going to do a seriously festive lip. So I'm going to just pop that in that coppery colour, do it exactly the same on the other side. And just blend that out. Again, you can use your finger to just slightly blend in that pinky tone again and that there is my eyeshadow finish as you can see it's really really subtle but when you are speaking to somebody super up close they actually see that gorgeous shimmer that you have added it's all about the sparkle at this time of year we are now going to add a eyeliner don't be scared, trust me. When it comes to like liquid liners, I'm like, oh my goodness, the shake is real. That is why I love using Estee Lauder's Double Wear Onyx because it is almost like a, it's almost like a gel based, but you can use your fingernail or your finger to drag out the line. And if it's not right, it has the most fantastic buffing side, the other side. So what I like to do, I try and do this relatively up close. You'll be able to see how much coffee I've had today. <laughs> the shakes are real. So I'm going to try and do this relatively close. As you can see, I've already popped on a tiny bit. So I'm going to start from the center of my eye, getting as close as I possibly can into that lash line. And then I get to just before the end, and I'm going to take it up slightly. So almost where you can do a little dot if you need to. So from there. 
and I'm going to draw the line back to match. Go over it a couple of times so that you get a good amount of that product on. Oh, my other eye is watering. I'm focusing so much. I then take my fingernail and I literally drag it up to create the perfect wing. It's as simple as that. Literally, it is perfect. So then, if it's not perfect, you can literally go over it, like so. And then what I do is I actually bring the liner thinner and thinner and thinner, so that it gradually, I'm trying to do this <laughs> whilst talking to you, and focus. I probably have the most unattractive concentration face of all time. But I would say that that looks beautiful. So that is one eye finished. So I'm going to pop this on a time lapse, do this eye, and I'll be back. And that there is my festive wing finished. So as you can see, it's really delicate, it's dainty. It's so pretty and it's so easy. So I would do one eye at a time and then do the flick as quick as you can because you want to do it before it dries. And this is double wear eyeliner. So it will last all evening. So as I said, that is our flick finished. I'm now going to add a tiny bit more of that champagne pop just on the eyelid from really that inner corner to the center of the eye and that will really, really lighten and brighten it and also just blend in where you started the black liner. You don't want anything to look harsh. You wanna make sure everything is just beautifully blended together. So let's do some mascara and then eyes are finished. We're then going to do a little bit of blusher, a lot of highlighter and an epic lip. I feel like I don't need to tell anybody how to do mascara, but this is Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes. And I just love how it makes my eyelashes almost like flutter. And you can really, really build up on it. I'm actually running out of this. I will be most certainly be adding this to my Christmas wish list. We quickly do those edges and then move on to the bottom lashes. I do like a fluffy bottom lash. I feel like it's become such a trend now not to wear mascara. And I just, I'm not sure I'm on that train. <laughs> I just love how mascara almost like opens up the eyes. So pretty, it's so feminine. But I must say I am a little bit of a mascara snob. I am not into the plastic brushes. I just, I can't get them to work for me. I just feel like they really make my eyelashes sort of clumpy and bumpy and I definitely don't want that and this is one that's got one of those really like fluffy brushes to it and it's really buildable so after a zillion brushes that is one eye done and look at how gorgeous that is beautiful I'm going to move on to the other side that is mascara done. You've got that little dainty wing out of the side. I'm now going to pop on a touch of blusher and I'm going to use Estee Lauder's blushes in this gorgeous, what do they call this? Alluring rose and it's quite a matte blush I would say. It hasn't got any pearlescent in it but we are going to add that just after the blusher. And you start from the apples of your cheeks going upwards. Move on to the other side. And basically here we want to just look as though we've come from the outside inside and we're just slightly chilly. Add that there, bring it over, move slightly over the nose, on the chin, up here. Mm, gorgeous, that is our blusher done. Now, for the moment. I feel like Christmas is all about glowing, glittering, we need some highlighter. And do you know what? This highlighter has created quite a lot of a stir on my YouTube channel. And everybody says that I'm saying it wrong. At NARS, I'm aware, I'll throw it at you again. <laughs> I'm aware that their blusher is called 
orgasm. I know, it's cult, it's iconic. However, I got this in a Christmas cracker about three years ago and that there states that this is called orgasm. So they must have done a limited edition orgasm highlighter. As you can see, I absolutely love it. It is my favorite highlighter of all time. If any of you ask like, what am I wearing on my cheekbones and on the tip of my nose, it is always orgasm NARS highlighter. But then when I go online and I try to find it, it doesn't exist. That or they put it in the wrong container. <laughs> but this one says on this very pot, orgasm. So I'm going with it. And I pop it on the very tops of my cheekbones here and I actually take it up just above and over the eyebrow and we're going to blend that in beautifully use a little finger to dot can't get over how windy it is today here we go, I'm going to do the other side and that is going to look incredible and when the light hits this highlighter honestly it is the most beautiful beautiful product it really is eye catching so I put a tiny little touch on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and most of the time actually on my eyebrow bone, but you know what, we don't really need it today because we've gone with quite a glittering eyelid anyway. So that is highlighter done. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I actually sat on my dress and it's sort of <laughs> choking me. <laughs> Right, the Peace Seller Resistance is a Christmas lip and we're going all out. So I'm going to start off with the lip liner, she says, if she can find it. So it really depends upon what kind of red your skin tone matches. So I've got two lip liners here. We've got the Lip Cheat Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame and then we've got Savage Rose. They've also got So Marilyn, um, but I think Savage Rose is going to match the lipstick we're going to be using today. So <laughs> I'm going to pop this bit on a time lapse because I can never talk to you and do my lip liner at the same time. So enjoy watching this bit. We'll put some beautiful Christmas music over it and let's get jolly. <laughs> look absolutely ridiculous but that is the red lip liner done so as you can see I actually put a middle a stripe down the middle of my top lip and a stripe up the middle of my bottom lip and that just makes sure that my cupid's bow are perfectly central and it also actually makes your lips look slightly juicier once you've added the lipstick another little trick is is that I like taking the lip liner and actually using it to paint in painting <laughs> these little bits here are quite difficult to get to with the lipstick so today we are going to use one of my favorite lipsticks of all time it's got real blue undertones which makes your teeth look super white and if you have blue eyes like me it makes your eyes pop and this is the chanel gabrielle lipstick so let's pop this on And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my red lip finished. I think it is so pretty, it's very elegant, it's timeless, and it's beautifully Christmassy. So that is my festive makeup finished. A little trick when it comes to red lipstick is that we always want it to be super, super sharp. And when I say sharp, I mean extremely precise. And what I like to do is take my Spectrum brush number 18 and pop a tiny bit of the Futurist concealer to the little end and I just use it to go around my lip. And just when I'm filming this with you, the gardener loves to start on the blower. Oh. <laughs> driving me insane. Anyway, as I was saying, I like to take a little brush and I then just go around my lipstick and my lip liner, just making sure that it is absolutely perfectly pristine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 
my festive glittering makeup finish. We've gone with a really delicate wing, a super bright and glowy eye. We've gone with the big red lip and it is now time to finally try on these gorgeous festive outfits behind me. I feel like we've covered all bases. We've got classic and classy, we've got festive sparkle, we've got long ball gowns for New Year's Eve and probably everything in between. So I'm gonna take my hair out and let's start trying on these beautiful dresses together. And in the meantime, I'm probably gonna hang out at the window waving at Steve the gardener and beg him to stop blowing. <laughs> and this is an absolute winner. This is the little black dress of dreams from Self Portrait. I loved the length and let me show you the details. They are absolutely exquisite. If I just show you a close up of the fabric, it's this beautiful black sparkly tweed, perfect for this time of year. And as you know, I love outfits in my wardrobe that are versatile and that you can wear all year round. And I really do think that this dress you could wear for gorgeous dinner parties, cocktail parties throughout the entire year. Yet, it is that little bit of sparkle for Christmas. But I just want to show you, the neckline is absolutely exquisite. It is all hand beaded in this almost like little bit of gold. It is stunning. And then the piece de la resistance has got to be these flower buttons. I can't believe I've got my <laughs> chest quite so close to you, but I wanted to give you a super close up of these beautiful pearl and diamante buttons. When I saw it online, I just thought, I'm not sure the quality is gonna be that great or whether this is going to look too much, but it is absolutely beautiful, as well as the cut. It's got this gorgeous, like, scooped neckline. You've got the buttons down the front, comes to the waist, and then it's got a really pretty, almost like swishy skirt. I would say it's like a skater skirt with long sleeves. Anyway, I'm absolutely obsessed. And I'm not sure whether I would pair it with the Manolos or possibly the Christian Louboutins. I suppose if you're going with a red lip like I have, you could wear the Christian Louboutins because the red sole would match. However, those are in my bedroom and I'm not going in there right now. I feel like I need to stand back here so that you can see the shoes. It is such a gorgeous length. I popped on a pair of Wolford tights. I would say they're about the 10 to 15 denier, so they are quite sheer. It's quite sexy, yet I'm feeling very, very elegant. I think the cut is very Chanel vibes, but without that price tag. I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed. I will most certainly be keeping this. Now let's pop on the second self-portrait dress that I bought, and I need your help to decide whether I'm going to keep it or not. It's glittery, it's beautiful. I'm not sure whether it suits me and whether I'm only going to wear it a few times. So let's pop it on and I need your help to choose. Well, this is most certainly a showstopper. I feel like I am the glittering disco ball in the room. The fit is beautiful. I'm just, I'm not sure if it's gonna be one of those dresses that we wear a few times and then you're kind of over it. Like, is it really going to work hard in my wardrobe? I love the neckline. I'm just not sure whether the bow and all the buttons, as well as all the sparkles, is a bit much. Oh, I'm not sure. I feel so sorry for Steve right now. I've literally just hung out the window. Well, Steve is like, I'm just trying to do my job. <laughs> That's me, I'm just trying to film. Anywho, back to the point. It's this gorgeous off the shoulder. It's very figure hugging. I definitely feel, you know, quite sexy in it. It's got these amazing like sheer parts here. Slight little bit of under boob. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's really me. It's a very, very elegant fit and cut. You've got a gorgeous little swishy moment at the bottom. It's definitely festive. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do we keep or do we send back? You know me, I am one that is very mindful about purchases and I want something that I can wear time and time again. And I think it's just gonna be one of those one hit wonders. You walk in the room and you look fabulous, but hmm, I'm not sure the bottom looks great. But if you are in the market for a seriously sparkly dress, then this is the one for you. It is absolutely exquisite. Well, maybe I do keep it. 
I don't know. I need your help. I need your help, team. Angels, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do we keep the sparkles or do we send back? Right, time for another sparkly but very elegant number. Now this is spectacular. It is so elegant, yet it is really rather sexy. I feel like LK Bennett have absolutely smashed the design on this dress. So it is a floor length dress, as you can see, but you've got a very sort of dainty slit at the front. It comes just above the knee and it comes to the side of the knee. So if you are walking, your knee stays inside the dress. However, if you want to, you can have that can can do 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 moment. So, as you can see, it is really rather body hugging as well, but it doesn't cling to all the places that you don't want to show any of those lumps and bumps. I don't want to show any of those lumps and bumps. And it's also the time of year that you want to enjoy all of that scrumptious food. Got this gorgeous bust design. So it's sculpted just to under your bust line. It has a little cut out here for a hint of sexy. And then with any high neck dress, I think it is so elegant. I love how they've done the sleeves, the small little design. You've got like a little poofy number at the shoulders. You've got the gorgeous high neck, little bit of cleavage. And they've been so smart with the cut on the bust. Supporting the girls like so, making you look teeny tiny at the waist. I absolutely love this. And for a dress like this, I think the price point is absolutely phenomenal. I also love the black glitter. It's glittery and it's festive, yet again, this is something that you could wear all year round to a dinner party, to the opera, if you're going to the theatre or if you've got a birthday party, New Year's Eve, of course Christmas. But I feel like this dress is going to work harder in my wardrobe than possibly the self-portrait. Obviously we're talking two very different price points here, but the quality of this is exceptional. Also going to be a dress that's going to last and I'm going to be able to get multiple 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 wears out of it I absolutely love it this is gorgeous this is definitely a keep like the way that it sculpts over my bottom makes the side look rather trim it's before all of the <laughs> Yorkshire puds and stuffing oh, goodness me this is definitely a yes I absolutely love this now it's time to pop on the next LK Bennett look it's bright it's cheerful and I'm intrigued to know what you're going to think of it. So let's pop it on. Are you ready for this? Oh, I feel like Taylor Swift. Are you ready for this? Boom, boom, boom. But this is the incredible LK Bennett purple number. I really feel that purple is having a real moment. And the good thing about purple is that again, it is so versatile. You can wear it spring, summer. We could wear it in autumn with like a burgundy coat over the top or black. And at Christmas, because of the sequins, Oh, it's perfect for this time of year. I'm feeling like this could potentially be my New Year's Eve outfit. I love the cut and the design. Again, it's very timeless, it's ladylike, and they've almost managed to get it to be super sexy as well. I think LK Bennett is so smart with their design that they keep like, for example, the neckline, you've got this gorgeous square neckline, you've got a slightly chunkier strap, it comes down to the waist, and then they've given you a little bit of room around the tummy area. Like no one wants to be like, like a chipolata. We do not want to be a Cumberland shoved into a chipolata skin. And LK Bennett have thought about just that. I'm not sure maybe in their design um, meetings they thought of it in that analogy, but they have given you space to breathe, which I love. So it's beautifully fitted over the bust, comes down to the waist, and then you've got a little bit of room. It hugs over your hips, just gliding over any of those lumps and bumps. You've got the slit at the side, so again, you can walk without having your knee completely on show, or you can really walk with it out and feel, get that sort of real sexy moment again. So let's dress it up for this time of year. I'm thinking classic black swing coat over the shoulders. And again, we're gonna pop on the Manolos. We're gonna keep the sparkles going for this time of year. They are the Manolos on. 
and the black overcoat just draped over the shoulders. I probably would not recommend a red lip for this look, but we're going with it, and the red is going to look epic with a few of the outfits behind me. I love that. It's not a colour that I would have run to, but I think it is absolutely beautiful and a colour that is going to stick around. So I am voting yes. But I'm intrigued to hear what you think, so let me know in those comments down below. It is now time to go all out. I'm talking full Mrs. Santa Claus power suit. So let's pop it on. I am obsessed. Have you ever seen a more special red suit? This is just creme de la creme the beautiful satin lapel, the cut of this. Now I have gone really rather sexy Mrs. Claus. I've gone with nothing on underneath. However, you could style this with a black camisole, a polo neck, or you could style it like I have done. And I've gone rather risque with nothing on underneath. Now what I would do is I would put on nipple pasties and actually pop on a tiny bit of double-sided tape just to stick down the blazer, just to ensure you have no risk of a nip slip. Nope, nope, nope. Even if somebody sat side on, or if any of those cheeky, naughty people out there who try to get a side on picture of you, uh-uh, I have thought of this. <laughs> I am not letting that happen. So I would highly recommend for you to add a nipple pasty and a tape if you do want to go with that sort of quite sexy, naughty, you could wear a black lacy bralette. I'm not one of those that likes to show my underwear. However, you know what? It looks amazing on other people, so that could be an incredible style up. But this is just beautiful, the cut of it. So the blazer is slightly oversized. So for reference, I have gone with a size eight blazer and actually a size 10 trouser. I think, just so you guys can gauge it, I think I could have gone with the size eight, but I'm not sure whether I would have had enough room around the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna have the trousers tailored, because they are the perfect length. They're so elegant. And I'm just going to have the waist nipped in. Ooh, this is why you put tape, ladies and gentlemen. You almost got a little bit of a show there, but as you can see, I've got really rather a lot of room here. And so as I said, these are the size 10. But you know what? When I've got the blazer done up, nobody would ever know. So I would pop on a heel, definitely a black heel. You could even wear suede black boots. That could be a real moment. And then again, if you're going out, out, pop a jacket over your shoulders. This is absolutely beautiful. I've actually got the perfect jewelry for this suit. I actually want to show you this because they are absolutely breathtaking. I wore these earrings to my Tivon event. These are the earrings on the necklace. Perfect. The earrings and these are the incredible rubelites with diamonds. And I just think with this blazer, they would look stunning. Sorry about the speckled lighting. Oh, I feel like a little sun baby getting my vitamin D. Anyway, I would style it with these gorgeous earrings and then check out this necklace. It is breathtaking. This is the matching rubelite necklace. And I think just hanging down here, that would look stunning. Really, really glams it up. Go big. If you wanted to do big gold earrings or a beautiful pendant, even pearls will look fabulous with this suit. I feel like LK Burnett have smashed it. And again, this is a suit that wouldn't just be Christmassy. I know it's red, but you could wear this at night, any date night dinners all throughout the entire year, as well as have a real moment at Christmas. I am obsessed. Well, it's time to go all out. We're going full glam with a ball gown. So let's pop it on. Okay, so needed a spot of help to put it on, but this is the spectacular Talbot Rodenhoff dress. I feel like this is going to be a dress that I keep forever. It's going to be that dress that I continually take out to wear for really, really special parties, the opera, any ball that I'm going to. It is absolutely breathtaking. 
I love the neckline. I just feel that it's so elegant, simple yet sophisticated. It fits to perfection, just holding my chest beautifully. Like I feel really, really supported up here. It's waisted and then the most gorgeous full skirt in these beautiful pleats. Now I feel like Talbot Runhoff has absolutely nailed the design of their dresses. Really they are so special and I actually feel although they are on the other end of the spectrum when it comes to the price point, I do feel that the price point is phenomenal for the quality of a dress that you get. I will have this dress in my wardrobe for years and years to come and I do think that when you walk into a room it is a showstopper. Look at the back. This really is a Grace Kelly dress. It is floor length, so I will show you. And it's got the most beautiful movement. You can twirl, you can spin, you can dance, you feel comfortable. Most importantly, you can eat and it won't show your tummy at the side. It is so graceful and stunning. I am, I'm just obsessed. It's in this gorgeous, like dark emerald green. And then you've got the sparkles and it really does just glitter. I feel like an utter princess. I'm going with the iconic Leonora dress flick, but this is stunning. There really is nothing quite like a Talbot Runhoff. So I will leave the link down below. Go and take a look at their dress collection. They also have the most magical dresses with capes, with trains, and it's the fabric that is remarkable. It just fits you where it needs to fit you and then it is just so beautifully designed that it glides over anything that you don't want to show. It really just does highlight your best bits and makes you feel so pretty and sophisticated. The elegance of this dress is absolutely exquisite. Now when it comes to accessorizing this, I would go with a simple black court heel. I would wear a little black dainty, maybe my Louis Vuitton small evening bag, and then a beautiful pair of emeralds. I feel like the emeralds would really make the green color pop. So, they are all my festive outfits that I wanted to show you. There are definitely some solid yes. There are some, mm, maybe. But most importantly, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm so intrigued to hear your thoughts, which ones I should keep, which ones I should send back. And like I always say, quality over quantity. Invest in items that you are going to be able to wear time and time again. Something you can style up or something you can style down. I say that with, with a pinch of salt. I'm not sure I could wear trainers and uh, do the waitress shop in this dress, but you know me. <laughs> I do like to go glam. So if you are in my local Waitrose and you see me walking around Waitrose in this dress, then um, <laughs> take a picture and send it to me. Oh my goodness me, we've been chatting for so long. The sun is going down and it is amongst those gorgeous branches. But I truly hope you've enjoyed this one. We've done a sparkling and glittering makeup look, as well as a bold red lip. I have shown you my favorite Christmas outfits for this year and the entire festive season. Please don't tell me to send this one back because I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, sending you so much love.